All right, y'all, this is going to piss come right back at you. I'm here at uh, Mike Miller's uh, performance. He's a fabricator. Uh, you guys seen a little bit of it yesterday, uh, or a little bit of uh, the video previously, some of the uh, stuff that Mike Miller was working on for uh, Big Drag, a.k.a. Rudy Boys. Um, I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, for those who don't know, starting out with the big man in the brown, this is Larry. You hear him on the grudging talk shows every night. Then you have Baby Boy, Crew Chief for Big Drag and Company. You have a uh, young gun. He'll be a drag. He'll be a uh, grudge racer soon, but he got a few more pecan seasons. <laughs> so, uh, young man, say your name for the people out here. Christian. All right. Christian, you got a few more pecan seasons, and we got your dad, right? Yeah. All right. We have Frank. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Big Drag's pro stock car. You guys seen the pictures flash up on the screen earlier. Um, Big Drag, he's not one with all the talking. He's going to let the car do the action, but he does have... Baby Boy, Larry, and Frank holding down the Central North. So, uh, gentlemen, can I ask you guys a question? How do you feel about the Central North representing the grudge scene and uh, or basically your ranking in the grudge scene? Well, I mean, really to start off, the, reckon, the recognition that as far as grudge racing, I mean, it's self-explanatory. We've been at the top, you know, far and, and shown that we can run with a lot of them. And thanks to you, we're gonna get some, a lot of, let a lot of people see that we can run. Plain and simple, and just, you know, hope we can get some sponsors with this too. Well, it's more than uh, being, 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 you know, just to run. I mean, I'm, I'm sure everybody knows that you can run up or along the Central North. You guys are well respected when you guys come down to Hattiesburg, which I actually had a chance to just meet you guys last year, 2011 in, in, uh, at the uh, Hattiesburg race. And you guys were respected. You can tell who's respected in the, in the grudge game or the racing game by how the people around them respond. Right. Um, but it's the rest of the world that don't know about the Central North. Like, let me, let me bring up something to, to make an example. Prom Tom said, Prom Tom, Tony Boss Bond said, he'll come up here and whoop everything that comes out of Chicago. And in essence, he has already done that. Uh, July of 2000. Uh, 12, I'm sorry, yes, July 2012, for the North Invade, for the South Invades of the North, Tony Bonds came up and did something very impressive. Um, how, do you, how, how do you feel about Tony's comments saying that he'll come up and whoop everything up in the Central North? I don't think he'll do it. You don't think he'll do it? He won't do that. He won't do it and he haven't He only whooped the cars that was at the track that day. Exactly. There's cars around here that's faster than Tony Bonds ever been. Exactly. The number one pro mod record holder right now is right here in Chicago, right? But, which is 18. Which is 18. 18. Is that a grudge pro mod? They got a grudge pro mod. It is a grudge pro mod. It's not a class slash grudge pro mod. It's a pro mod. Grudge pro mod. They will knock Tony Bonds nuts loose. Okay, but you know what Tony Bonds would say, and, and he, he would be right to a degree. He would say, well, I don't have a pro mod. I have this right here. Tell me what you can do with this right here. Well, we got a backhand guy right now in Chicago. Been trying to get Tony to lock in. He keeps saying no. And who is this? Well, the name is going to be here till he says I would do it. Leroy. Leroy. Okay, well that, okay, if it's, if, if, it's, if it's Leroy, that's no secret. He speaks to Tony quite often. But Tony won't lock in with him. He'll talk to him, but he won't say I'll do it. He won't say he'll do it. No, he won't. Okay, one of the things that's, that's coming up lately is that Tony Bonds is a master stipulator. He is. That's all he does. That's all he is. I mean, but you, you can't take it. You can't take nothing away from him. That's what he do. Right. You know, and that's the way he run his team, you know. And that's how he get all his racing. That's how, and that's how he beat a lot of people with what he doing. If people dance to his music, nine times ten, he going to be victorious. Uh, but if somebody make them dance, him dance to their music, he going to have to fight for real. Well, so, I, but, I mean, I, but, 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 I mean, you said something that I like. Stipping is a part of the grudge game. It's a mind game. It's, it is a mind game. And it's Tony. He's a mind game player. If and he can get in your mind, he can beat your behind. Say it again. If he can get in your mind, he can beat your behind. But if you don't listen to him, he gonna get his ass knocked off. What? Well, I, I really wanna say Tony <laughs> himself is a, a mind game man. I, I'll give them props from what they doing as far as with Tony, Trigger, and Cowboy, and Dog. That's right. 
Tony will step back out the way, like you see my uncle now, step back out the way and let us talk and do whatever. And then when Tony feel like he need to jump up, he will jump up in it. But Trigger, Cowboy, Dog, they'll rile you up and everything, and you'll do something stupid. The only Tony got to do is, ain't no pressure on him, he just getting caught and drive. But I'll tell you what, can you fault that man for having a smart team? No. Can you fault that man for putting together a hell of a team? No, you can't, it, you can't do that. You can't, you can't, can't fault him for nothing. Can't take nothing away from him. No, no, no you, can't, you can't fault him for none of the things that he's done and that he's achieved, you know, because it's up to the other individual whether they're going to go for it or not. Exactly. You know, um, if, if it's to a point where, uh, for example, I'll use this for an example. Uh, a program we just had this week, he was um, talking to Biz, and Biz has a, a back a stock suspension car. He don't have a back half, he has a stock suspension car. And um, he tried to engage with him with Moneymaker. Moneymaker's not a stock suspension car. But what's wrong with that? It's grudging. It, that's so very true. Okay, then but we don't, we don't do that type of grudging because, see, the game has changed now. Back when we were coming up, it was no steps. It's steps now. Well, so, the, so the difference between then, if we felt that we were faster than the guy, we would give him a spot and try to run him down. Somebody won, somebody lost. The difference now is it's, 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 it's uh, trickery now. It's more trickery in, involved now exactly. than it was during the period of time that we was coming. Exactly. You know, so my thing, my whole point that I'm trying to get across is that some people like being taken advantage of we don't go for that in the center. We don't go for that. Gonna We're going to try to make it even yeah. turns, best man win. Yeah. All right. Well, well, then in that instance, if he wants to put a step on you and you don't go for the step and he says, well, I don't have to race you then. Okay. 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 Fine. Let's have other people race him. Shake his hand and have a nice day. You know. Next man. Next you know? From, our, from our understanding, from our understanding, we ain't nobody in no way because of the simple fact that he didn't know us. Right. You Just know? like we didn't and, know about And, him. and, and it's, four, it's, it's four corners of the world. You got your north, south, east, and you got your west. So we came from the north. I never heard of his name until about maybe a year and a half ago. You know, I didn't know who he was, but I never come to, to discredit. We came to blend in what was happening because we wanted to compete in what was going on and share the brotherhood and everything that was involved with it. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Well, we didn't I, come to be little nobody. I, well, you know, the race. Well, see, when you say, okay, Larry, in, 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 in particular, and I, I'm hearing this a lot from the Central North when you say, well, uh, Tony said, you ain't nobody because I haven't heard of you. Mm -hmm. Have you heard Tony say that? Yes. If you hear me misrepresent anything, by all means, correct me. Okay. Um, when he said you didn't, you're nobody because I haven't heard of you. Mm hmm. How, how do you take that? And I want to ask each and end, you know, all of you, how, how would you take that? Well, I ain't going to never take it personal because drag racing is not personal, it's a sport. Right. Um, I took it as an insult. And the reason I took it as an insult is because of the simple fact I'm part of the brotherhood that's from Chicago and majority of Illinois. I'm part of the brotherhood. So I didn't think that that was rightfully said because of the simple fact that we could have turned around and said the same thing. Right. But we didn't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, when they came to us, we made sure that everything was laid out. Uh, we knew that we weren't prepared to engage in their activity. And we were, we were told that, hey, we, 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 it's about giving these guys a good time. It's about making them feel welcome, so far and so on. We wanted the same multitude of that when we, when we went down there. But what happened was... The only thing that Maybe was when spoke you, on... When you went down where? When we went down in Macon, Georgia. And what happened? What for the happened people was, that don't know, Larry, explain it, please. Okay, for the ones that don't know, what happened was that it was stated by Mr. Bossman, it was stated to him that uh, when we came down there and did what we did, we got no credit for it. The races that we won, we didn't get any credit for it. And he said the reason for that was because they wasn't there. Okay, he told us that we had three months to get prepared for them when they were coming. He had time to get prepared for us when we were coming. So don't take away our glory. We didn't take away his glory. You just heard us tell everything that he done. He came up and he did what he had to do. But because he wasn't there, we don't get no credit. You know, and I don't know if that has anything to do with the fact that a matter of him being uh, with another group or whatever the case is, but we grudge him. And that's what we represent. So we're going to do what we got to do to make it work.